The Government of National Unity Hungarian, Kormenia existed during the occupation of Hungary by Nazi Germany between October 1944 and May 1945. Formed by the Nazi Aero Cross Party, it was established on 16 October 1944 after Regent Miklos Horthy was removed from power during Operation Panzerfaust, Unternehmen, Eisenfaust. Aero Cross leader Ferenc Szalasi became Prime Minister and, as nation leader, the head of state. During the government's short period of rule, 10 to 15,000 Jews were murdered in Hungary and around 80,000 Jews, including many women, children and elderly Jews, were deported from Hungary to their deaths in the Auschwitz concentration camp. <laughs> Hungary splits in two After Miklos Horthy announced an armistice with the Allies on 15 October, the Germans kidnapped him and threatened to kill his son unless he renounced the armistice and abdicated. To spare his son's life, Horthy signed a statement announcing both his abdication and the appointment of Arrow Cross leader Ferenc Szalasi as Magyar Karai Ministerelnök Royal Hungarian Prime Minister on 16 October. He was then deported to Germany. This act merely rubber-stamped an arrow cross coup, as Szalasi's men had taken over Budapest the previous night. The Hungarian parliament approved the formation of a Council of Regency of three on 17 October. On 4 November, Szalasi was sworn as leader of the nation He formed a government of 16 ministers, half of which were members of the arrow cross party. While the Horthy Regency had come to an end, the Hungarian monarchy was not abolished by the Szalasi regime, as government newspapers kept referring to the country as the Kingdom of Hungary Magyar Karalaszág, also abbreviated as M.K. Although Magyarzig Hungary was frequently used as an alternative, Szalasi was an ardent fascist and his quizzling government had little other intention or ability but to maintain fascism and to maintain control in Nazi-occupied portions of Hungary as Soviet troops poured into Hungary. He did this in order to reduce the threat to Germany. Szalasi's aim was to create a one-party state based on his Hungarist ideology. On 21 December 1944, with the approval of the Soviet Union, Bela Miklos was elected as the prime minister of a counter Hungarian government in Soviet-controlled Debrecen. Miklos was a former commander of the Hungarian First Army. He had failed in his efforts to convince many of the men under his command to switch sides. The government that Miklos oversaw was an interim government and maintained control in the Soviet-occupied portions of Hungary. History Upon the total Nazi and fascist takeover, Hungary faced impending occupation by the Soviet Union. The Red Army was already deep inside the country, effectively limiting the Arrow Cross regime's jurisdiction to an ever narrowing band of territory around Budapest. Seen in this context, the Arrow Cross regime was short and brutal. In cooperation with the Nazis, Szalasi restarted the deportations of Jews, particularly in Budapest. Thousands more Jews were killed by Arrow Cross members. Of the approximately 800,000 Jews residing within Hungary's expanded borders of 1941, only 200,000 about 25% survived the Holocaust. An estimated 28,000 Hungarian Roma were also killed as part of the Porajmos. Szalasi envisioned a new economic order, which he called the Corporate Order of the Working Nation. Dolgozo Nemzet Havadas Renja. Even as Hungary was in chaos, Szalasi refused theoretically to compromise Hungarian sovereignty, trying to retain nominal command of all Hungarian military units, including the local SS units. Ethnic Germans were still not allowed to join the Arrow Cross Party. Szalasi devoted much time to his political writings and to trips in the shrinking territory under his control. Many political matters were effectively handled by his deputy Prime Minister Geno Szalasi. At the beginning of December, Szalasi and his government relocated out of Budapest as Soviet troops advanced towards the capital. In a scorched earth strategy, the German armed forces destroyed Hungarian infrastructure as the Soviets closed in. In December 1944, the Battle of Budapest began. Fascist forces loyal to Szalasi and the badly damaged remnants of the Hungarian First Army fought alongside German forces. They fought against the Red Army to no avail. 
By 13 February 1945, all of Budapest was under Soviet control. In March 1945, during Operation Spring Awakening, fascist Hungarian forces of the Hungarian Third Army fought alongside German forces in the last major offensive in Hungary against the Soviet forces. For ten days, the Axis forces made costly gains. However, within 24 hours, the Soviet counterattack was able to drive the Germans and Hungarians back to the positions they held before the offensive began. Between 16 March and 25 March 1945, the remnants of the Hungarian Third Army were overrun and virtually destroyed. By the end of March and into April, what remained of the Royal Hungarian Army were put on the defensive during the Nagykanizsa Kormand Offensive and were then forced into Slovakia and Austria as Soviet forces occupied all of Hungary. Bela Miklos's government was nominally in control of the whole country. Nazi Germany itself was on the verge of collapse. The Ferenc Szalasi regime, which had fled Hungary, was dissolved on 7 May 1945, a day before Germany's surrender. Shalasi was captured by American troops in Matsi on 6 May and returned to Hungary, where he was tried for crimes against the state and executed, along with three of his ministers. Most of his ministers also were sentenced to death and executed, except four of them. Bela Yurchek committed suicide at the end of the war, Arpad Heni fled to Austria. Emil Shakveri was sentenced to life imprisonment, while Vilmos Hellebrandt was sentenced to death, but the tribunal, before execution, changed his sentence to life imprisonment. <laughs> <laughs> Government members Ferenc Shalasi, leader of the nation and prime minister Geno Shalosi, deputy prime minister Gabor Vina, minister of the interior Gabor Kemeni, Minister of Foreign Affairs Lajos Remeni Schneller, Minister of Finance Laszlo Badinsky, Minister of Justice Karoli Beregfi, Minister of Defense Ferenc Rajnis, Minister of Religion and Education Fidel Palfi, Minister of Agriculture Lajos Shash, Minister of Trade and Transport Emil Shakveri, Minister of Industry Bela Yurchek, Minister of Welfare Emil Kovarch, Minister without Portfolio in charge of the full-scale mobilization and arming of the nation Ferenc Kassai Schallmeyer, Minister without Portfolio for National Defense and Propaganda Vilmos Hellebrandt, Minister without Portfolio in charge of the continuous oversight of production Arpad Heni, Minister without Portfolio and Special Delegate to the Leader of the Nation, in charge of the Leader of the Nation's Task Force See also Hungary during World War II Operation Panzerfaust Sent Laszlo Infantry Division